Hi, Kay here from Get Fit with Flo. Flo, that's me as well. That's my name. Uh, what I'm doing here, this is a third in a series of book reviews, of a book review that I'm doing on the Seven Pillars of Health. Here it is by Dr. Don Colbert. And the section that we're reviewing tonight is on live foods. And he had quite a bit to say on food choices since that seems to be the biggest uh, area where, in our lives of where we can really improve our health. And he talked about, uh, imagine if you had two pantries in your kitchen. One had dead food, one had live food. And you can maybe guess what all the dead food would be. N not just things that are rotted, but uh, uh, things like that are man-made, like potato chips and, um, you know, any kind of, like, crackers and cookies and all that good stuff. Um, you know, I, I can eat it myself, but it, I have to stay away. Um, so, uh, anyway, you know, you just kind of look at it and which, which pantry do you want to eat out of? The live foods, the fruits, the vegetables, uh, you know, okay, there are a couple of fruits that may not be, that might have a lot of sugar in them, but, um, anyway, he talks about, uh, your, like if you eat something that's what we normally call junk food and it, anything that's just man-made, where man could have taken something natural and then played around with it and it it just becomes a, you know, a man-made product that our bodies don't know what to deal with. And, and he says your brain, when you, you eat something and it doesn't get the nutrition that it needs out of it, it your brain starts to send out hunger signals to your body that tell you to go eat more food. So the bag of potato chips you just ate, I've done that when you had a bag of potato chips and it's like, okay, I shouldn't have had that. But um, five minutes later, you're feeling like you're still hungry. Have you ever had that feeling? Um, you know, so, you know, and, and we start eating these bad foods. Sometimes it's a habit that we just get into. It's just what you eat every day and, and it's convenient. Um, and it just gets into a vicious cycle. Sometimes you eat sugar and it just makes you want all the blood spikes and crashes just makes you want to have more sugar. And sometimes our friends, the hormones, they make you want to eat sweets and snacks. And um, sometimes we go after comfort foods. Uh, and that's caused when you've had a lot of stress because your cortisol levels are high. So those... That's what kind of spurs you on to diving into the comfort foods. So, and, and I've just found myself, if I've been on a bad kick, I, I got this way last Thanksgiving. And, uh, you know, after that, I, I had to just get mad at myself and just say, okay, stop, no more. And, gosh, I've lost 15 pounds since then. Um, and, uh, and one thing you want to... Uh, not only do you want to avoid sugar, which raises your insulin and your fat, which causes you to store fat, um, extra sugar in your diet, that also uh, affects your immune system. And you want to stay away from, uh, you know, any of your, the other sugars like the, you know, the yellow packets, pink packets, blue packets is what I call them. And uh, like aspartame, that causes cancer and I really don't know why they sell that stuff. But um, Splenda... Uh, that's been some people that's caused type 2 diabetes and and some of these people once they've gotten off the Splenda they're they're good to go and Splenda's a they say oh it's made from sugar so it's okay well it's you know sugar and then now we're going to play around with it too um, so it's really not good uh, not good um, I personally use stevia it to me, it doesn't taste any different than these other products, and it's all natural, and it's there's no sugar in it. So um, uh, that's a side note, but uh, also watch out white flour, any of your white breads. Uh, it turns into sugar once you eat it. Um, trans fats, I think it's finally been coming out lately that trans fats are bad for you. They're also man-made. Uh, and they raise cholesterol. Uh, so that's like any of your partially hydrogenated fats. And you can see these on the labels in the grocery store. Um, dairy, some people are sensitive to dairy, don't process it well. 
Um, and you know, you may want to try some coconut milk and almond milk, but again, I caution you to read the labels. There are some brands that you have a ton of additives. You want to see as few items on that uh, ingredient label as possible, not a bunch of chemical names that you can't pronounce. Um, one thing uh, on the fruits, I would also caution some fruits have a lot of sugar content. Uh, they may be great for you and have uh, great benefits, and that's cool, but uh, like things like bananas. Bananas have a lot of sugar. Um, I try to just have half of a banana at a time, um, just to kind of keep the sugar low and keep it from spiking in the bloodstream. Uh, I did want to bring up some good fats. Make This is something a lot of people don't do, and... Uh, Think there are good fats like avocados. Chop some up, throw them in a salad. If you're having, you know, taco night, throw some in your tacos. Um, and another thing is coconut oil. You can buy that almost anywhere now and just put like in your coffee. Um, put like half a teaspoon in your coffee and, and it really does not taste, it sounds gross, but it doesn't you don't really taste the coconut hardly at all, and after a while you get used to it. And, um, uh, you know, it just melts right in the coffee, and some people use it instead of coffee creamer. And, you know, I've even heard of some people will take a teaspoon of coconut oil in the solid form and just take it and put it in their mouth and let it melt. And it has so many benefits for you, and, and some people, it, it can even help you lose that believe it or not. So um, anyway, I wanted to bring up the fat, uh, uh, you know, what Dr. Colbert here says about uh, foods and being uh, wise and making your choices and eating healthy, nutritious foods that, uh, you know, are, you know, not man-made. So uh, you guys have a great day and I'll look forward to seeing you again and thanks for watching.